Rico McGee, another episode of the Rulers Minute. I just came across an article regarding the uh, Alex Van Pelt firing. And according to reports on Heavy.com, Heavy Sports, Heavy on Browns, Albert Breer of Sports Illustrated said that two pieces of considerable, and I quote, Beer Breer reported two pieces of news, considerable consequence to Cleveland. The first was that Deshaun Watson is the reason the front office gave Van Pelt the axe with the quarterback's lack of progress over the last two years, serving as the sticking point. The second was that members of the coaching staff, quote, were floored by the decision considering Van Pelt's pivotal role within the organization. Basically, Paul DePote. DePudsta, if I'm pronouncing his name wrong, I apologize. Not Kevin Stefanski was actually frustrated with the progress Watson made. See, to me, that just goes to show what I've been saying all along. Deshaun Watson is probably $230 million worth the most important organization. And I think they felt that he didn't develop enough to their liking, which is why a lot of pl- a lot of the offensive uh, staff got fired. But he was fired by the front office and not by Kevin Stefanski. So now what this says to me is pretty much if this doesn't work, Everybody's gone, right? And I'm talking about his lack of development with the Browns. I'm not talking about anything before he came to Cleveland. I've been saying it all along. Deshaun Watson is going to be the one to determine whether or not the Browns achieve success. Joe Flacco came in and did what he was supposed to do. That's what he was supposed to do. But it's going to be ultimately up to Watson because you put all that money into Watson. So now it's going to be interesting to see with the cap, with the cap hitting this summer, it's going to be interesting to see what happens at this point. And now Ken Dorsey is their new offensive coordinator. So I'm expecting a more high powered offense that centers around Watson. But let me know what you think in the comments. Because I'm interested to see what you think. I'm Rico McGee. This has been the Rulers Minute. And as always, we'll see you in a minute.